Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Indica as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we came here to this fish, like a fish processing factory, I think. And well, things got kind of awkward because we um, we got very wet and had to strip off and it was... So yeah. the monastery wasn't your choice? It was. But when your decision has a reason, is it really a choice? Whoa. When a brook hits a rock, does it choose which way to go? Oh, fuck me. You're, you're not a brook. You, you have your own free will. Free will. Choices. Yeah. Can we not go through Whenever this? we make a choice, don't we base it on our previous experience? Don't we estimate all the possible benefits in our head? Oh. And if we go against the rational, don't we realize that we're being driven by our emotions, by our passions? Do you understand? As I was saying, I mean, I don't our think will so. helps us to control. I've got to know. No, it's locked. It's locked. Oh, that's true. But when you control your emotions, there's always a reason, right? You can explain why you're doing it, build a string of logic. If the soul didn't exist, all that remains would be your logical ship. How the fuck can one live without a soul? Humans haven't learned that yet. Uh, ask him if he knows what a soul even is. Everyone says soul this, soul that, but can anyone clearly explain what it is? Yes, but even a soul has its own inclinations. But let's say your soul gravitates towards God, and mine doesn't. Is that my choice then? Or, in theory, let, let's imagine that the choice isn't based on anything. What kind of choice is it then? Pure chance. Right, so, so you're saying choice is an empty word? Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't even understand the point of this whole choice thing, this freedom that God Jesus, has graced just us gone. with. Bless us. Why would God need our so-called freedom? Okay. If in the end he's only satisfied with strictly defined choices. He could have just made me in a way he would have liked me. True. I don't know. I'm not a theologian. I believe that's what you call people who study religion. Theologians. Huh. Yep. Oh, what's in here? Anything? Ugh. Damn, this place is stinky. Ugh. Okay. Ah, uh, dude. Okay. Strange place. Oh. Needs a bit of tuning, I think. Yeah. You don't play? No. I do. Once I played at Bats. Where? Effing Bats. He owns a tavern. You played in front of people? I got a standing ovation. Can you play something? <laughs> Might struggle with his duff hand. How can I? 
Yeah. Yeah. Not exactly going to be easy, is it? What's what's this? Four fold icon. These icons were never popular, even though they were sold for ten rubles in the store, compared to twenty for four separate icons. After all, four icons on the wall are four icons on the wall. Indeed. All right. Is there anything else here? Nothing there. What's this? Ah, we must light. Do our bit. Yep. Do the business. There you go. Bam. I know they say points are pointless, but they're not pointless to me. Wow, it's dark here for me. Yep. What the hell? Look at the size of that! I mean, I know catfish are big, but that's a big fish. Holy guacamole! Is there anything this way? No. Wow. Whoa. Like I say, I know catfish are big, but my god! Is there anything this way? Is it just another door that we can't go in, probably? Yep, another door we can't go in. Wow. Wow! Look at them! Huge! That's enough fish to feed a... How would you even catch it? What would you use? What, what size ship would you use to catch that? Look at it! Jeez! Okay, maybe I got a little bit excited about that, but... So there's an elevator, but we can't use the elevator? Is there anything down? Okay. What's the deal with the elevator? I don't... Why didn't we use the elevator? Is it broken? It might be broken. Okay, there's workers. Should we... The three-handed mother of God. Saint John of Damascus was falsely accused of treachery and had his hand cut off. After he prayed to the mother of God, his hand grew back and, as a sign of gratitude, John attached a silver hand to an icon. But why the third hand on most icons was viewed as belonging to the mother of God herself, Indica did not know. Oh yeah, there's a third hand on there, isn't there? How strange. Well, all right, okay. Heavenly miracles and all that jazz. Um, so, what's the deal? Are we supposed to wait for them to disappear or something? Or who are they? I don't know. Never seen those before. No. Um, are you gonna come in here or? Do I have to go up? No. Can't go up. Can we go down? Okay, we can go down. Jesus. Are we... Oh. Uh... Assumedly, we have to have the weight, the counterweight, up. So, if we... Uh, we can't... We'll call this one. So really, we need at least one of them to be on the third level, don't we? So if we go up... And then can we drop down here? Oh, we can. There you go. So if we now go all the way up, will that be at the right level for us to walk across? 
It will! Hey! There you go. Huh. Don't know where those folks went. Look at the size of that saw blade. Holy guacamole. Look at this. Jeez Louise. Alright. Here's what I think. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I'm not telling you anything from now on. Oh, come on, I, I'm joking. Tell me, you were, you were wondering about freedom. Why did God make you free? Here, here's what I think. If I were the Tsar, yes. I, I wouldn't want my wife to be a slave. I, I would find myself a free girl that could love me genuinely. Do, do you understand? Yes, it's a good example. But now imagine if your Tsar has found himself a girl he loves. Can you? So? So he confesses his feelings to her and invites her to his palace. So? And now imagine that the Tsar also says, if you come, I'll drape you in gold. And if you don't, I'll hang you on a hook and burn you slowly. This also requires her to return his feelings. Hmm. I see where you're going with this. But it's not God who burns people in hell. That would be those damn demons, enemies of mankind. Very well. In this case, the Tsar says, if you come, I'll cover you in gold. And if you don't, Parf and the Butcher will catch you, hang you on a hook, and burn you slowly. I love you endlessly, but can't do anything about it. Think about it. If even the Tsar can't actually do anything about this Butcher, because Should we maybe of some unclear circumstances, some point? why can't he just stay silent? So you're, you're saying nobody can love God genuinely? No. No, it's not like that. No. I don't think Indica's saying that at all. Turn that light out now. Look at this. Wow. My God. That's some big old fish. Like I say, what do you even use to catch that? What kind of boat would you have to have? Jeez. Okay. Those are big tins of caviar. Wow. Why are they so big? Are we like dwarf people? We have to check one place before the line. Where? I feel like we'll we're see. borrowers. I've hidden something there. Oh. All right. This is, it's like we're the borrowers. Really small, really small people. If you don't know what the borrowers is, that's what it was. It was like tiny, really tiny people living in like a house. Inside a house. It was it was it was a good suit. Just look it up. Google the borrowers, you'll know what I'm on about. Okay, so that looks like something we can use. Possibly. Oh, Take it, that's our cue to do something. Okay, all right, whoa. All right. Where are we going exactly? We have to go over there. Um, well, what about me? No offense, but what about me? Dude, are you able to help me somehow? Um. Can I go on these cans? I can. Um. Yeah. What do I go down here? Oof. Okay. I need to go up there. No. This way. Oh, um, huh. Well, I am confusion. I don't know, maybe have to swap it back or something? Can we even get back up there? No. Well, the only way is down. Okay. We can climb on those cans. This. Ah, I see. It's not that complicated. Okay. 
so do I need to just grab a can and put it in the middle? Something? Um Okay. Which cans are we are we climbing on? Oh are these over here? Climb up these maybe. Lift one, put it down here. Put it like there. Gotta climb up that I suppose. Maybe if we move it a little bit closer. Like there. Let me just try this. So can we go up? And then up. 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 I mean, why are the cans so big? Surely nobody would be eating out of these cans. They're massive. Can we... yep. Ah. A little bit shy. We could probably do with one here, maybe. That might be the idea. So, okay, let's just... yep. Go up this way. Maybe he'll help us climb up that bit. Ah. Oh. We get up here in the corner, maybe. Oh, blast it! Ah, um, I know, I know. Could we maybe use the machine? Maybe how we do it. Oh, there you go. Hey, Mark. Do we really need it? What? You'll see. This item? Oh, yeah, the item. Well, that took me a little minute. Bloody hell. Never mind, never mind. It's fine. Okay, uh. Alright, let's go. There's a big tins of fish. You feed like a whole village with one of those. Are we even allowed here? Nobody here. Everyone's asleep. Why are they asleep? The one on the right is ours. The one on the... Okay. Oof! Okay, that's bright. Oh! That's kind of clever. Look. Wow. How is this? I mean, oh, glimmering lights. It's called a stroboscope effect, like looking through a bike wheel. Yeah, I'll... Uh... <clears throat> well, I mean... It's pretty. If we climb all the way here just for this. I'll show you. Got 
some strength in that Sit one down. arm. This is Puddle. She's a singer. Why Puddle? She's a frog. Because this is Seva. He's a guitarist. Did you just fall down there? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Indica. Oh no. Damn. Ilya. Get up. Ilya. Oh god. God, I've just realised what she's going to do. Okay. Mirko, I can't go further. Indica, scared to wet your pants? Mirko, nah, if I were alone... Indica, how about this? If I get to the other side without wetting my skirt, you'll teach me to play the flute. Mirko, oh boy, here we go again. All right, and if you do get wet, will you kiss me? Indica, not a chance. What are you thinking? Mirko, well, you're sure of your success, aren't you? If you reach the other side, I'll make another flute, just for you. Indica, deal. Okay. All right. Okay, let's just, let's just, yeah, ah, that's it, okay. I didn't mean to do that. So close. There you go. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! 
Och. Good God. Okay, that was a little rude. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. Matthew 5.30. Oh, well, okay. That seems a little weird, but all right. Oh, Indica. Lie down, lie down. Everything's going to be all right. Otherwise, you won't. But lie down. Shh. 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 It's against God's plan. You went against God. Against God, not in the slightest. This is not that bad. Please be, be still. Be quiet, please. Please. Not, not that bad, huh? Will it go back? Why not? It's not like it's harder for God to work one miracle than... You didn't... You didn't believe in it. From the start, you were angry that a miracle could happen to me. No. To, to a person like me. No. I'm so, so dumb and jealous. Give me an injection. None left. Oh, this, this time, this, this wasn't just empty talk. I know. All this f philosophy. <sighs> Joyce, God, God doesn't talk to me anymore since I met you. No, leave me. I'll be on, on my own. I'm Don't. sorry. Well, that could have gone better, could it not? I mean, ooh, I made a mess in the morning papers as well. I mean, it, it had to be done. It was infected, wasn't it? It was infected. And I don't think he would have lived. I don't think... For the first time since meeting Ilya, Indica felt a stab of doubt. What if she had made a mistake? What if she had done something wrong? What if the Kudyaks wouldn't work? Why was every step on her road to God drawing her closer to the devil? Oh my god. I did everything correctly. Otherwise he would have died from sepsis. Yeah, she is and right. And he didn't? There! He's healed! A miracle! Wouldn't feel good, would it? That means he was indeed talking to God and earned his absolution. Please, talk to me this one time. How did I go against you? Is it in my power to intervene in your design? Is this a part of your plan? Is this how it's supposed to be? You will be all right. The arm will heal. Ilya will live. That's it. Heal. Live. 
I think so you will. So now I have to feel guilt for this as well? You can see I'm trying. But he's always behind my shoulder. Me again. Yep. You were driven by fear. The fear of ending up with a corpse. And back then, with the gypsy. What gypsy. was it? Were you restless because of his tanned arm? <gasps> oh, Mirko. Of course, of course, Mirko. Mm. Well, we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Uh, next time, we will continue onwards, and hopefully Ilya won't be too annoyed with us. Um, his arm was going all black. It was horrible. I just... I don't know. Maybe Indica was right. Maybe she was wrong. I don't know. But to me... If your arm has got an infection and it's gone black and it's clearly not really useful as an arm anymore, I think, yeah, that's that's pretty much an arm that's going to never, re like, heal itself without proper antibiotics, which obviously weren't around at this time. Well, yes, we'll leave it there. So until next time, be safe, be good, and do look after yourselves.